Hi, in the last uh, exercise or in the last video we end up here making the support definition for the reinforced concrete frame that we were studying that we are studying here it is so now we are going to define some loads and uh, we are going to study the we are going to define some loads and we are going to study or analyze the stresses and displacements here in our frame so let's do that uh, let's go to load case definition okay let's go to loads here resize this section shapes turn them off now we need to define we need to press a new button and this will define a dead load the self weight with just this standard name now we need to define a live load live load 1 and 2 also we need to define a wind load over here and a snow load over here okay load definition for uh, the generated cases uh, okay left mouse in second field gaze columns okay let's go here select live load one I want this to be an uniform load bars 11 to 14 with this value minus 40 kilonewtons over here minus 40 kilonewtons okay here we may see the load now select load live load case 2 this time a trapezoidal load with two points bar 11 In the field uh, column into this value minus 20 and left mouse key is in, over here minus 25 sorry this is I guess this is wrong oh okay over here minus 20 and over here minus 25 okay this is a way to define this load now we'll have to define the wind load which will be an uniform load applied in bars 1 and 2 1 2 and we'll have here this value 15 okay that's good seems good to me now we have we will have to define the snow load which will be a nodal force applied in the nodes 24 to 34 24 to 34 with a value of minus 25 here it is applied in the truss this is the several load cases that we have defined over here load types and uh, here here we have defined the several load cases and here we have defined that load 
cases in terms of forces. Now let's see what we will have to do. Tools, menu, job preferences, okay. Tools, job preferences, units and format, dimension, forces, other, displacement, change this, change the, increase the number of decimal places for displacement to four. One, two, three, four, okay. Now we may run the calculations pressing this icon. The program is loading and calculating. Nothing to worry about here. Let's close it and go back here. Now we may see, for example, the bending moment diagrams. Let's go here. Results. Results. Let's pick this and make it bigger. Here we have that box. NTM, MY, the bending, this will show the bending moment diagrams for this load case. Every time you pick here some diagram, it will be with respect to the load case picked here always always okay so this will show the bending moment diagram for the dead load case one there we go you may change this or at least the way you see the bending moment diagrams over here go to tabs parameters labels values i'm going to pick global extremes differentiate it and fill it apply there we go if uh, this, this is the bending moment diagram for the first load case, the dead load case, which in this case, it is a self-weight. For this load case, hmm, I guess I will have to normalize. If you press this button, this diagram will normalize. Just look. Okay, there we go. Live load case 2. And live load for the wind loads and for the snow load okay very good you may also see what the deformation we will choose exact deformation for wires you have two options here uh, sorry you have two options here deformation and exact deformation for wires you have to pick this if you are analyzing the deformation on a finite element mesh but if you want to see this with bars if you want to see the displacements with bars you have to pick this one the exact deformation this has to do with finite elements over here this is just an example of uh, a finite element mesh and uh, in this case the program will make an approximation to tell which is the displacement over here or over or over here for example or over here for example but with wires, we may pick the exact deformation. Okay, let's close this. Exact deformation for bars, apply. There we go. For this load case as well, the wind, you may see this. Okay, you may also see these values in a tabular way. Just pick tables and pick, for example, nodal displacements, full table, okay. There we go. The results are shown here. Node, case, and the UX displacement, UZ, and the rotation here. Okay, let's go back to the view. Uh, you may also check, for example, the reactions. The FZ reaction, which is the reaction in this 
in this axis. As you may see, okay, let's pick description also. And there we go. This is FC reaction for the wind. This is for the dead load. Live load one. You may also see the bending moments. Very small bending moments here, but in the case of the wind load, they will they will be bigger. So I uh, hope you enjoy the movie and follow me in the next ones. We'll make at least one more. Thank you very much.